Hey everybody, Radaban here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. One with these scenario settings, voted on by all of you at the start of this whole series. So, picking up where we left off, we had quickly captured Herdigia Castle, and to be honest, I'm going to continue looking for opportunities to snipe Southern Empire territories. Uh, the Southern Empire is... If we check the Diplomacy tab, um, still very much at war with Britannia, Valandia, Kuzate. Uh, they have a very small total strength, despite having a pretty decent amount of territory. So they're ripe for the sniping. Uh, one of the things I did want to do is to probably create a companion army. So, I'll talk about the differences of a vassal army and a companion army. Uh, when you add a vassal to your kingdom, they become a voting member of politics. So, when you're trying to enact influential changes, they may vote against you. When you capture new territory, they're going to want it. Keeping them happy can sometimes be difficult. A companion army has the advantages of... Well, one big one is that you can call them to aid, you can rally them uh, with no influence. And currently, I do not have a lot of influence, so that's kind of a good thing. So a companion army, in my mind, is stronger than a vassal army if the companion has comparable skills of stewardship, leadership, tactics, etc. Um, with that said... Uh, there's also the opportunity to get married. So if I was to get married, uh, I would be looking to get married to someone who offers up tactical advantages, I guess. Uh, but hold on. I am just making sure that I understand. Okay, so this castle is being pushed. Oh, Azurai just declared war in Valandia. And, um, all right, great. I'm just trying to keep tabs on what is going on politically so that I can react accordingly. So, Can, who's currently in a caravan making a thousand a day, um, is probably the best bet for a companion army. So, instead of that, what I will do is to work on um, trying to get married, as odd as that is. Now... Marriage in this game is really not like marriage in most games. It's very political and uh, doesn't mean very much. But uh, even with that said, it is still the goal I have in mind. All right, so right now I have basically just no food. Uh, I've totally destroyed my food stocks, um, which is fine. I just... Legata here actually doesn't have a lot of food, so if I want food, I have to go down to Lark or Tissier or something like that. What I'm actually going to do is to dump off uh, the vast, 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 vast majority of these troops uh, so that I can move more quickly. All of my non-mounted troops have been dumped. I'm now going to be a... Okay, I have nothing in the stash. I'm going to be a very, very small, but very quick party. Because that allows me to move around. I have a tiny bit of smithing stamina. And there we go. That's all that I can do. So now we're just a party of 17. Out of 257. It's, it's kind of kind of funny. Uh, it says that someone... A character could level up, but uh, I surely do not see evidence of that. All right. So we're going to head to Orticia and buy a little bit of food variety. And this also gives us the ability to very quickly scout around. It's possible that Azurai takes Orticia and allows us to declare war on Azurai to take it back uh, quickly and inexpensively. Because, of course, the the um, 
flip-flopping of territories weakens them for anyone and everyone. Alright, so we've got the land of grapes and grain down here with some dates. Uh, there. Now what I want to do first is to offer up an opportunity for Ospir or Luchin. Oh, I see. You know, I... Hmm. Let's go bite the bullet and buy some Vlandian Coursers and Sturgeon Hunters, who, which are also war horses, to see... Oh, wow. Okay. The the reason why my, um, my knights can't level up to champions is champions require war horses. Um, and... I don't have very many, so I have to buy some more war horses, which is fine. My movement speed is great. I'm going to buy all these additional desert horses. For a boost of movement speed. Oh my god. Uh, and then the step war horses. I guess now that I have a big income, I shouldn't worry too much. Wow, every single one of my knights went to a champion. Okay. So that's something that probably should have been done a long time ago. So, let's give Lucian an opportunity. He's a noble... If we check his clan versus uh, Ospir, these are the two that I talked to previously. All right, Luchin, I want to talk to you first. So you are near Fasos. Oh, all right. Well, that's not too, too far. Not for our fast-moving party. Take a look. Yeah, we're just slowing down because we're in a forest, but this is a very fast-moving party. 7.6. It's about as fast as it gets. Uh, let's beat down some looters. One of the advantages of this is uh, high security in the area is good. Um, and then additionally, um, it gives me something to smelt to work on my smithing skill. Huh. You guys have some, uh, some shields. That is odd. You aren't just all looters. I mean, it matters not. They will lose. I'm just surprised. In fact, that even benefits me because they have, uh, wow, if I could aim, they have uh, better weapons than just regular looters would. So, here as you can see, they had a ton, an absolute ridiculous ton of troops imprisoned. Um, they had some Valandian Vanguard. Yeah, I'd, I, that's interesting to me. And some of my champions just leveled up to Banner Knights. That was a fight worth having. Oh, they gave me some horses. Sure, absolutely, yes. Sergeants in everyone! Hear me! Um seems as if I've added a whole lot of people to my 
Oh, you know what's going on? Oh, okay. This is the town villagers that have come to rally against the looters. I was like, when did I have all these Imperial troops? But I don't. Yeah, the, it's the militia of the town that uh, wanted to jump in on the uh, looter bashing. Fine by me. Fine by me. All right. Trade. Let's just uh, empty off some stuff that I do not want or need. Great. Ransom the prisoners. I'm sure I don't have any smithy stamina. I do not. And uh, the spicy 33 looters over here, I'm just going to have to go do as well. One of the advantages, of course, my cavalry uh, leveling up. As is all the companions that are getting these kills. Uh, what I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, not level up the champion stack until they're all ready to go. That'll be a, a lot faster and easier. Man, my aim... It's like I haven't had my coffee or something. Now another thing that happened uh, for this episode was the 1.4.3 patch was finalized and is no longer a beta patch, which means pretty soon here we should be able to get um, the Falcon renamed because that's not one of the names of my... Well actually, ironically, I do have a patron with Falcon in his name, but that's not who Syed the Falcon's named after, that's just the default name. Alright, so three of eight champions. Doing this some more is going to get uh, get that the remaining stack of champions ready to go. But I'm only going to bother when there's uh, sufficient numbers of... of uh, enemies. Okay, so he's not here. And my guess is he could be captured in Thorios Castle. No, Thorios Castle's Batanian. So he's definitely not captured over there. Because Batania's at war, and uh, it's quite possible that, uh, that the area is pretty war torn. Alright, I'm going to buy some more war horses. I can afford them, and that's going to allow us to level up. Um, some of the troops that we've got. Okay, I don't see him in Thorios Castle. Oh, he must be in this stack. Yep, he is. Chins party. Wow, Batania, you've got a lot of troops over here. Oh, I have to convince you again. Oh, I don't think this is going to go well if it's already ineffective. Oh, wow, this is a snowball's chance in hell. Yeah, nope, not going well. Totally ineffective. Okay. Fall flat on my face. There was also the possibility of someone in Luchin's family. Um because he's got other people in his clan. Finnegan. Who I could potentially marry. Or let's take a look at the other one. Alright, Finnegan. 
let's try to talk to him. He was seen... Oh, I think he's in this army, maybe? L let me make sure that that's not the case. Because there is a huge stack of people here. It's really hard to tell. Uh... Oh, the army leader needs something. Oh. <laughs> Insulting. He needs me to scout something or another, but my level, my skill in scouting is so low, he's not going to even talk to me. No, nope, Fennigan is not part of this party. Uh, there you are. My lord, I note that you have not taken a wife. Perhaps you and I... All right, so that kicks off the start of a relationship, possibly. Now I just have to convince him to pursue one. And there we are. All of the success checks. Okay, so we've kicked off the whole relationship thing, and I have to go um, talk to him later. Huh, I could tell him to release people. All right, another thing I ought to do. Ooh, Lucan. <laughs> I like beating you up. I don't have troops to do it right now, but uh, I sure do enjoy it. Um, is... I could definitely float a companion army. The companion will probably be Can, which means I have to cancel the Can Caravan, the Canavan. Um, but I really ought to start. Oh, uh, Can's Caravan just got attacked by looters near Saga. Um, I really ought to start training up more troops than just what I have for my own army, um, so that I can really do some some sieging. With a, a lot of people. So let me check in. Before I do that. Let me check in on my current holdings. Okay. No one in the garrison here. Yeah, I knew that. Oh, why did I hit garrison twice? Castle. Uh, so the toll collector is being built. And then nothing built after that. So... Let's go with gardens after that, because food production in this um, settlement sucks and is becoming a problem. We So we definitely are going to want to get food up. Uh, my looters are starting to want to join me. Yeah, it's not going to happen. There's a large group of looters around here. Um, managing the town. Yeah, we've got form in the marketplace again. I like it. Alright, let's go tell these looters they're really not welcome in my territory, even though it's a 18 versus 52. No, I really do feel like a banner lord here with all my banner. Well, they're not technically banner knights, but with all my knights romping. Uh. I'll throw stones. I can definitely see the advantage of having a lance for battles like this where you can just couch it and sprint. It's too bad you can't... There are mods that allow for this. Of course, this is not a modded series. But there are mods to allow you to hit multiple um, enemies in one attack. Um, which I obviously won't be enabling, because it's overpowered. But um, if you do want to feel like this is Dynasty 
warriors or something like that, uh, you could always enable such a mod. Don't hit my horse. Ow, don't hit me. Well, wow, you just got smushed. Quit hitting the horse. Alright, there's a few more up here. Luckily, my horse is relatively well armored. Just as like I am. Whoa, smush. That should be it. Yep. Eleven you are prisoner. And almost all of my uh that whole stack is ready to go. Was worth it. Was worth it indeed. Okay, just buying some additional horses and. Selling off the armors. I'll keep the weapons so I can uh, smith them at some later point. Man, there are, I might actually have to do some looter killing. Because there is just, honestly, too many looters in and around my territory. Uh, which is going to pose a problem for uh, prosperity gain. Because as villagers move around from the villages to the towns and castles to towns and stuff like that... Um, they bring trade, and if those trade runs are raided by looters, which is exactly what looters do, um, the benefits of those trades, which would provide wealth and prosperity, are taken by looters instead. So it is definitely in my advantage to clear my territory of looters. And this is another thing that a companion army or a vassal would do well is um, patrol territories. So like, let's say I give Herdigia Castle to a vassal, um, they would patrol around Herdigia Castle, um, keeping it secure when they're not rallied for war or whatever. As you can see, there are some um, there are some random va uh, nobles or whatever you want to call them that are sort of patrolling my territory anyway for me. All right, free dog, you leveled up enough in riding to have a tougher horse. All of my almost all of my champions are ready to go. Maybe oh. That is a huge, huge stack. And then, um, this uh, landing Castle is under siege. It's right on the border of my territory, so that's, uh, I'm gonna go grab my army and get them ready. Because I am absolutely going to go declare war on Azurai for another free castle. This is also a really good experience for 
my companions that I've just switched over to a bow for the first time because crossbows on horseback are bugged. Um, and bows are better than throwing for sure. In terms of quantity of uh, projectiles that you're able to use. So this is also giving my companions an opportunity to get some bow experience. That should be the whole stack of them. Yep, the whole stack. Ready to go. Well, I was getting war horses for this reason. So now we just have a ton of banner knights. Actually, they wouldn't have needed horses. But alright, let's go get the army that I spoke of. Taking a look, it looks like Can's caravan succeeded in killing those looters because the caravan's still running here. I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of money to improve the town more quickly. And then keep garrison, give them all to me. Yep. I actually might have some stuff I want to ditch. Which would be... Yep. This stuff would just slow me down. Going for a variety of foods to help morale and stewardship. So 235 troops. It's pretty good. I think there's actually some more in Varon Castle that I can grab as well. Alright, the castle did flip. And Onika Castle just flipped too, wherever that is. I'll look that up in a second. Oh no, I have everybody from this. Perfect. Alright, so there was a l rather large Azurai stack of troops. Uh, and it looks like they're being totally slaughtered. Um, now the issue is I need to find... I need to hit an Azurai... Here we are. Demands. Surrender or die. There we are. I needed to declare war on them so I could siege the castle because this group is going to take that castle back if I delay. So it is a matter of time. Archers! Oh man! Everyone! Oh, this is so bad for them. So I have a bunch of uh, I have a bunch of Valandians that joined me. You know, any Archers! of enemy of my enemy Archers! is my friend. Troops to me! Uh, so it's bad news bears for this uh, Azari army. They are going to get super slaughtered. Oh, don't throw that stuff at me. Take slight offense by this guy throwing crap at me. Oh, he's so dead. So here, for one of the first times ever, you could see green and blue troops. Blue being my own, green being allied. Yeah. 
definitely have your uh, attention here. Not fond of you calling me a bastard. Oh, did you get... I believe they got reinforced here. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me move before someone gets a spear in my butt. Ow. Like that. I didn't want that. Alright, Mama Duke. Come on, get over here. I don't hit my horse. Alright, so... Because of the terrain and the fact that the Azurai are good archers... It wasn't a flawless victory. Plus, I didn't really be a general, I just told my troops to go murder, murder. But it is over. Uh, I only suffered four deaths, three wounds. Not that big of a deal. Oh, and I actually netted troops here because uh, they had a bunch of landing prisoners that I just freed. So, rough for them. And now this allows me to immediately uh what Well, this is weird. I cannot seem to declare war or to siege that castle even though I really should be able to. Uh, all right, before we go any further, better armor is going to get passed around. I don't think anyone wants the Highland scale armor, no. It's pretty much the lowest tier that we've got going on. Uh, what about, bo okay, barbed arrows, don't need to worry about that. This blade here might be better for someone. Uh, Richard the Stag, actually. You know what? I didn't hit done, did I? Oof. Yep. All right, let me fix that again. Sorry about this. Noggined. Okay, done. Richard the Stag. Are you really truly let me let me check character stats. Are these guys truly glued to two handers? Ye no no no, you can have use a one hander. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Is uh hook him up with a one hander. It uh one handers are definitely going to keep the companions alive longer. Um And then that also makes, I'll slowly work towards all of my, um, all of my companions using sort of the very, very similar gear. There. All right. It'll be an IOU, a better weapon bash. They are all, let me reorder these, they're all pretty much one-handers now. I'm trying to keep these, ah, uh, they're just going to go reinforce it. I'm trying to keep them away. Why? Hmm. I really am not sure why it's not allowing me, yo, you want to chase me? Yeah, let's go, let's go. Stupid Godin. Uh, I'm really not sure why it's not allowing me to besiege that castle. I think it's because it fell too recently. 
And there's a cooldown. Everyone with me! Right, I don't like the thick forest, so I'm going to move to high ground. Okay, this is the edge of the map. Horsemen are trying to... Nope, they uh, didn't fully commit to a charge. Mostly because they're horse archers. Alright, sent my riders to go... fight their mounted horsemen. Oh, they downed my horse. That's rude. Man, they did that in one solid hit. Horseman! Forward! Don't move! Alright, thankfully, there's just some horses I can remount over here. I'm recalling my uh, horsemen. So we don't need to be so split up. They also just have the cavalry advantage. And without involving my crossbowmen, uh, we won't have dominance over them. Alright. Let's let them charge up. Now, that they've committed to get real close to my crossbowmen, you should see the balance of power shift dramatically here. Yeah, they're getting squished. Having them fall back, regroup. Alright, sending them in now that we're sort of reclustered. I think that was a friendly. Oh. Where do you think you're going? Oof. I love having a fast horse. Made it out to the edge. Alright, now you can see the remnants of their group fleeing. Sturgeons? What are you doing up here? Ah! It's the edge! No! No! 
cowards. Yes, fight me. Get him. <laughs> All right. So, it was an expensive victory, but oh my god, was it a big fight. Renown, influence, morale, all skyrocketing. 17 troops at the cost of their 104. A good ratio, to be sure. My companions all got knocked out, but um, I am going to take some prisoners here. Oh my god, that is too many prisoners. Um, Alright, let's see. How many more? I can have a little bit more room. I'm trying to go for their more expensive ones, because I am going to make a buck off of this. Alright, we are we're well well over now. Uh, let's get rid of some of the lower level ones. God, they're all so high level. Just ditch a few more. Right, one more. Uh, you, Mr. Hired Blade. Take on... Yeah, let me redo that. I want to take only the highest level because it will net me the most money. Uh, I'm two over. Okay. One, two. I uh, know, I'm four over. Three, four. Nice. Done. Tons and tons of loot. You really wanna yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't think so. Alright, let's go ransom these guys off. And then we'll return back. It'll also give a chance for my troops to heal. Um, in terms of weapons, the IOU weapon. Bash. Here you go. So much better. For shields. These battered oval shields are... Better than what I was rocking. So I'll have everyone kind of level up here. Heck, it's better than my own shield. I haven't been really investing in the shields that uh, Sarlin carries, to be fair. Alright, I think that's, uh, that's quite a lot. Alright, what about the shoulder? Oh, yes. I don't think they'd be better for me, no. But Richard the Sag, they're not better for you. There we go. A 25 helmet. Oh, well, that's even better, too. One of the advantages of fighting swarms of uh, nobles is you get to loot their stuff. And sometimes they have a lot of good stuff. Okay, I think I think that about rounds it up. Um, my horse, thankfully, did not become uh, lame when downed. That can be a result. Uh, okay, you have a desert horse. We could honestly start giving out um, better horses as well to our companions. Like, give them more horses, but I'll do that in a bit. See, I'm really not entirely sure why I wasn't able to uh, besiege that essentially undefended castle. But I'll be back there in just a second here. Alright, ransoming off 22,000 worth of prisoners. <laughs> oh, man. 
Oh boy. All right, lame horse. You're getting sold. Mule. I know mules are good for carry weight, but uh, I got I got plenty of horses to help with the carrying. As you can see, I'm not nearing my carrying capacity. Um, I don't think my town's gonna have enough uh, money to buy all the goods that I have here. So. That's pretty much all that town can afford. All right, let's ride back there. My tactics so far have not have been not to be at war for very long, but to be effective while we are at war. Oh, you know what? I think I think I couldn't besiege because there was some, um, there was Valandian troops that were doing it. Obviously this siege, I'm not even going to bother building siege equipment. It's, I'm just going to go straight, uh, straight to a ladder attack, given the, the numbers here. Uh, but what I will do is level up everybody that can level up. Look at the wages. Oh my god. Look at the money. Got a lot of money. I, I, I ought to start shopping around for my own equipment. I'm worth it. Alright, let's lead an assault. And this episode's going to run a little long because I didn't want to leave it on a cliffhanger. But yeah, let's lead this assault and uh, capture this castle. Yet another. Oh, so it's one of these castles that have the awkward back entrance thing going on. Which actually makes it really, really easy to siege. Because this shouldn't be all that well defended. Dude, you gotta climb them ladders. That stupid Volgir is uh, bugging up the works. Ow! Come on, guys. Very bad sword work on my part. Oh wait, you're not an ally? I don't know why I thought they were. Well, I've basically just mortally wounded myself out of my own stupidity. But, uh, I live with it. Not too many of them left. God, don't stand in front of me. Come on. Quit. They just keep... My own troops just keep getting right up in front of me. As I'm about to let loose an arrow. Up oh, and down I go. Alright, victory. Take y'all prisoner. Anyone that leveled up in here this fight, I'll uh, give you some experience, take all your stuff, and the castle has fallen. I'm going to manage the castle. Let's immediately drop money into it, and uh, the upgrades to the castle that have been queued up are fine. I'll leave them. Okay, guys. Well, that is all the time I have. Uh, quite happy about how this episode has gone. I've annexed yet another castle. I didn't get married, but I started the process with uh, Fanagan, or Fena Fanagan. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Maybe he doesn't even know. If you have any feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. I will catch you all next episode. Adios, friends.